I'm here with the number one contender for the UFC featherweight championship, the notorious Conor McGregor. How are you, Mr. McGregor? Well, I'm great. Thank you for asking. Pardon me, though. You made a mistake. I am the UFC featherweight champion. If you don't believe me, watch this. But that's my belt. Yes. Run along, little boy. Run along. Sky, guy, go away. Grown-ups are talking now. Did you just take the UFC bill from Jose Aldo? Oh yeah, I took it from Jose Aldo. Because I can do anything I want. I am the greatest UFC fighter in the world. Speaking of the bill, who do you think will win tonight at UFC 188 between Velasquez and Verdun? <laughs> that question is easier to answer than it was for me to take this belt from Jose Aldo. Who, who by the way, isn't even that special. He comes in and says, he's so special and no one can touch him. He's not even the only Jose Aldo in the world. What do you mean? Well, I mean, he is a junior, right? I mean, his dad's the senior. He's not the only Jose Aldo. I am the only Conor McGregor you'll ever find. Look him up. Look up in the Google. Find You will not find another Conor McGregor. You will find at least two Jose Aldo's. Him and his daddy. And at UFC 189, I will prove that I am his daddy too. And I'm going to give him spanking of a lifetime. He has no chance against me. I'm going to take him around the back side of the woodshed and I'm going to wear out his hide just like his other father should have done but he never did because he is also another man. But you never answered my question. Which question? Who will win tonight at UFC 188? Kane. But why Kane? Why not? He's got tremendous striking and tremendous wrestling so he can control where the fight goes. Plus he's had like a two year vacation while all the other heavyweights have been bashing the brains out. He's been chilling drinking, doing whatever he wants to. I mean, he's fresh. He's got nothing to worry about. Plus, he's had plenty of time to train Daniel Cormier to become the new UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Kinda. I mean, whatever. Plus, do you think for a single second that Dana White and Lorenzo would gamble with the chance of having the UFC championship change hands in Mexico with a Brazilian? No. There's a reason why they're having this fight here in Mexico with Cain Velasquez as the champ. Because they know, as well as everyone else knows, that Cain Velasquez is going to win. He's going to beat up Verdum, he's going to take him to the ground, pummel him, and beat him within an inch of his life, and still become the UFC heavyweight champion. Possibly take another two years off, why not? I would love to have a vacation. You said DC was kind of champion. What do you mean? You'll know exactly what I mean. Daniel Cormier is, in fact, the greatest UFC fighter at 205 pounds who hasn't been arrested and stripped of his title. You were discussing how Aldo isn't an original, but people have been saying you're not an original either. How so? There's how Chael Sonnen hyped up the fights with Anderson Silva, and then there's this model that popped up that has hair like yours and a beard and tattoos. Coincidence? Okay, let me answer your question with a question. Have you ever worn a shirt? You don't have that answer. I can look at you. Mm -hmm. That's not a nice shirt, but it's still a shirt. Does that mean you're copying someone else's style? No. Just because me and this other model have tattoos and our hair combed to the side or slicked back and have a beard, that doesn't mean I'm a copycat. That means him and I both know it looks good. Because I look good. Yeah. And Chil Sonnen? Who cares? Chil Sonnen hyped up fights. Just because I'm doing my job, no one wants to see people just fight. They want personality. And that's what I have. I have charisma. All these other fighters, they're not doing anything to get people in the door. That's what I'm doing. I'm selling tickets. I'm making this the greatest fight ever. It's going to make Mayweather and Pacquiao look like a joke more than it already was. So don't get mad at me because I'm doing my job. Because my job requires more than sitting here and asking stupid questions. Don't, don't, don't get mad at me. So what makes you so sure that at UFC 189 you'll be crowned the new featherweight champion? Have you not seen any of my fights? I take people apart like Hannibal Lecter. I do things that no one else can do. Things that men won't even think about doing. I've got this crazy look in my look deep into my soul. I'm looking into yours. I can see that you're a coward. You're not a man like me. You're not a champion. I'm so much a champion that I have it tattooed on my chest. Look, Tony the Tiger says, USC champ. Well, thank you for your time, Connor. No, thank you for your time. 
And if you see that little boy over there, give him this belt. Tell him I don't want it. Tell him I want it at UFC 189 when I beat him. And tell him to have it polished and shined and cleaned. Have the belt be, mm, I don't know, orange, white, and green. Because I'm the king of Dublin. I'm the king of the world. And I am the greatest UFC champion ever. <laughs>